We are joined this morning by David Lai. He is the executive director of Sky Zone Travel and Tours, Tours and Travel. Tell us what your company does, please, David. Okay, uh, basically our company handles a lot of uh, tourists from all over the world. And uh, currently we have uh, the tourists coming from the Middle East and uh, the regional that is from the uh, Philippines, Indonesia, Taiwan, Hong Kong and China. And also we have a little bit of uh, business from uh, India. You are a receptive inbound uh, tour operator? Yes, we are receptive inbound tour operator as well as outbound also, outgoing also as well. So outgoing we are mainly concentrate more on uh, FITs, travel roles and some incentive groups. Uh, how long have you been in the inbound uh, part of the business? Oh, in the inbound I think close to 28 years. So I started as a tourist guide, and then from there I moved into outbound business, then inbound again. Now I'm running my company since the 98. Uh, besides Kuala Lumpur, where you, where you are headquarters, where else do you have offices? Oh, yeah, we are based in uh, Kuala Lumpur, and we have another branch office in the Borneo, which is in uh, Kota Kinabaru, uh, Sapa. In terms of FIT versus groups versus meeting and conferences versus special interests, type tours, uh, uh, what are the percentages uh, of, the, of that kind of business you handle? Uh, I think 60% are FITs and of course uh, 20% are groups and 20% are incentive groups. Of the uh, FITs, what, what the majority of business are for what kind of FIT arrangement? Uh, basically our leisure market. They come here for short stay and some they go to, uh, they go to the resort uh, in the north and uh, of course in the Sapa, in the Borneo side. Uh, when you say resort in the north, you mean just l lay out in the sun or by the, by the beach or by uh, the lake or what? No, it's by the beach, mm -hmm. uh, basically by the beach. And people who go to the north basically they are uh, island of Langkawi and Penang. And of course to the east coast as well. East coast is uh, like the places in Tengkanu and uh, uh, Pulau Perhentian and also Redang and also Tioman, those are the islands. Of course, when people, when we send our tourists to the, uh, East Malaysia, where it's Borneo, and uh, people who are more adventurous, they go for mountain climbing, and of course, they go to the jungles, and of course, they also go to the beach also in, the, in the East Malaysia. Uh, for the Borneo type tourists, uh, which markets do they tend to be coming from? Uh, right now, we have most of them actually coming from the uh, from Hong Kong and also from uh, Taiwan right now, and uh, because we actually handle quite a bit of uh, tourists from the Taiwanese market, and of course right now we are, we tend to actually extend uh, it to our Middle East market also. So because when we bring in our Middle East uh, tourists, most of them actually they explore only to the West Malaysia which is Kuala Lumpur and the north, uh, that means it's up, uh, no, sorry, uh, Rangkawi and Penang. <coughs> right now, we try to actually move them to the east also. Um, what would you like to tell our global audience of uh, nearly half a million travel professionals uh, throughout Europe and USA, which, which uh, of those markets would you like to, to give a message to as far as what your, your company can do for them? Uh, basically, Malaysia is a very nice country. We have uh, beautiful beaches, we have very uh, good people, and of course we have the jungles. I think we have the uh, most beautiful jungles in the world, and of course we have the highest mountain in the Southeast Asia, which is in Sabah. So basically, these are interests uh, for, I think it's acceptable to all over the world. If you had your, you know, if you could pick the kind of clients you could get, and the kind of travel you can operate, what would that be? Uh, it will be, I think we, we, could, we could actually offer everything to anybody, you know, so... You have no personal preference? Uh, no, uh, it's customer choice. So whatever they want, we will just go ahead, we just arrange for them. Thank you so much, David. Thank you.